Yeah, pretty excited. Uh, it's always a tough place to come up here to, to play, and um, I had a couple of players back today as well. So, you know, I thought I knew it was going to be a tough challenge, but I thought we started really well and just managed the game pretty good. So, really proud of the group. Josh Chalmers, three tries. Yeah, he started the season off on fire at the moment and uh, um, all, all really good finishes for us. So, um, But, you know, we've been moving the ball a fair bit in, in our games and he's, I think he'd be up there in the, in the top couple of try scorers at the moment. Right, attacking the first 20 minutes, you got hold twice on the ball's right edge or left edge. Can you use any, any insight into how we that? No, we just, we've just got a system to, to, that we stick to and um, whether it's this side or the other side, they try and break them down in, in certain ways. So... Um, you know, we've been quite good with that over the, over the first six games of the season, to be honest with you. We've, we're certainly scoring some points and, um, you know, we've got, and, and they're all a new, a new group. There's eight new players in the team, so it's going to take a little while to, for that to gel. And, and it's in a good place at the moment, but I think we've still got so much improvement left. Is it fair to say you've like, to grind up on up a little bit after? You know, there's a little bit of response from them. Yeah. That's what was a good start from what's the old boys. Did you feel like it got tougher as the game went on? Yeah, it, it did, it, absolutely. And... Um, you know, I, I, I think we need that as well to, to be able to be in front. We haven't been in front too many games in the first half this year. Uh, in fact, there's none. So going into half time was a, a new experience for us as a group. And uh, we had to, we had a, I think it was, what was it, 16 6 maybe at half time. And yeah, we managed that second half. We, we put a bit of pressure on ourselves, but we, we defended that. So I thought the defence today was awesome. Yeah, we've been working really hard on it. I think we only made four errors in the whole game. I think we were at 90% in that first half, which was brilliant. And, and that's what you've got to do to be able to, to win games away from home like we've done today. So I know there was a few penalties and six against late in that half there, which brought Hull back into the game. But I thought the way that we started was prof really professional. And you went with Edwin from the start for this one. How, how big a part of the Yeah, I, I don't know if you saw the first, I think tackle three of the game on Hoy. It was one of the biggest hits of the year, I thought. And, I think that rattle takes a little bit and probably what we needed as, as a group and he certainly brought that uh, front foot defence to us today which which helped. Philly's grown into the season that Tom's has had a lot of expectation on it externally but he'd do really well for you. Yeah I think I think a little bit of uh, you know pressure on him that he didn't need or that he didn't really deserve. Um, I, I know he's a talented player but He's also missed a lot of our pre-season with, with an injury after the World Cup, so he hasn't trained that much for us, hence coming off the bench. But it's going to take him probably, like today was, was certainly a step forward for him in the right direction. And we're really excited about what's going to come from him over the next month of rugby, so watch this space with him. It's uh, Wigan next week. You're looking forward to that? Yeah, how good. <laughs> uh, local derby. Um, so, you know, the Battle of the Borough, I think it's been built up as. and. Um, you know, they, they're going okay as well, and Thursday night game on TV, it, it's where we want to be as a club in Super League with, with the Lee Leopards and a real special time for the borough and for our town. How does that fare for you, Adrian, with it being like obviously a former club and your coach, obviously facing the game as an opposition coach, what are your thoughts on that? Well, I'm looking forward to it. It's obviously spent uh, five years, four years as a, as a player and one year as a, as a coach in the academy when I first was here in 2000 so a lot of fun memories for the club I, I, I love the place, you know the, the, the Challenge Cup that we won so there's a lot of you know, love there for, for Wigan but this is going to be you know, a war on, on Thursday night and I think, I think everyone's looking forward to it, it's, it's, I think it's um, uh, one of those games that that you need to see on TV and, and hopefully we get a big crowd there. They're, they're talking at the moment that's going to be a sellout and, and potentially our biggest crowd ever in Super League. So fingers crossed that works out that way. So, no, Andrew, you're some, Adrian, notes that you single out for praise, but like in the first half in particular, you were really pleased with how he attacked, digging right into the line and, and really picked Hull's defence apart yeah. at crucial times as, as well for Josh Chalmers' third try. Yeah, he's, he's been slick all year. He's been outstanding for us and... Uh, you know, we've been working hard on him to get his confidence back as a player, and and, and each week he's he's certainly picking teams apart with what he's doing. And um, you know, I'm just I'm proud of him because he's he's certainly is showing that class in that area there. But I think that he's a long way from being at his best too. So, you know, he missed a lot of our preseason after the World Cup. So we we've got we've we've got eight new faces in there, and I think five players come back from the World Cup. So we had a bit of a, a mixed up uh, preseason, but those players are getting those reps in now so 
you know, you'll see him and, and Edwin and uh, who else is there that's played in that in that crew? Mulhern, I think, was it as well. So, yeah. And just on your halves and generally different halfback pairing again, I believe today you must be really happy with having that depth in that position and players being able to slot in seamlessly and not really lose anything in your attack so early in the year. Yeah, I thought Ben Ben was going well when he got suspended against. Uh, Hull KR was it? Yeah, Hull KR off the back of the Hull KR game, so he was suspended for two weeks. So he came back in. Joey Mellor's doing a great job for that, but you know Ben's kicking as well. I think played a part in today's outcome. I, I think you know I think he was what how many tries he scored? Four, kicked three out of that and a penalty goal. So four goals today certainly helped the scoreline in our favour. So um, yeah, we'll settle on that other halves position as we go along, and they'll have their opportunities to lock that down.